<laughs> and I think what you need to do, a team needs to come together. And if there's anything right now that you're feeling, you need to bring it out so that team can come together. And this is going to build resolve within your team. So when you leave here, you will be stronger for it. Okay, so All right. So let's hear it. Yeah, I, know, I started getting homesickness and everything, and a lot of things are catching up to me. And when I get upset like that, I want to just run and run and run. And uh, Jessica wasn't feeling it that day, and I was too hard-headed to see that she couldn't run. Like I said, I wasn't much of team sports, so I don't know how to communicate with other people on a team. You guys are probably annoyed at me by now, but like every day I'm like, communication, guys, communication, because I don't know what you're feeling. When you're running behind us, I don't know how, if you're feeling bad or if you're going to faint. And it was that... a bad day all around. I'm, I apologize for not for going ahead like that. It was... It's, it's okay, Brandon. It's fine, yeah. I just, yeah, and, we uh, just need to know what's going yeah. on. And, uh... Brandon, he's very strong and very passionate. Just the, um, the pride he has to uh, get through things and to run and to make it um, is very admirable. So that's why I look to him is just the passion. I would junkies. sooner run to my feet, run my feet fall off and say I'm fine, keep going. That's why. We, we've noticed, yeah. yeah. We saw you limping and you're like, oh, keep going. And we're like, are you sure? <laughs> you know? yeah. So yeah, just communicate. If you, if you hurt at all, any bit, just tell us. We can totally compensate. You know, I, I, I admire all of your, honestly, Brandon, <laughs> You know, I understand like a lot of the stuff that you know. It, it's difficult. I know. I know where you're coming from, mm -hmm. and um, I'm just. I'm very proud of you guys because you're coming together. You're acting like a team. This is what teams do. Mm. So let's <laughs> just um, no more tears, guys, and let's finish this strong. I Happy can't, tears. I can't really. Uh, <laughs> <be prior. laughs> well, so. no tears of anger. And okay. sadness, okay? <laughs> that meeting, I think, made us almost. Um, like brothers and sisters, almost, compared to just teammates. It's minus 12 degrees centigrade. Last night was your okay. water? Okay. Yeah, my, I have a huge, um, my bottle of Gatorade is full of water. I filled it up last night. Totally rock solid. Today being the last really long day that they have, I think they're going to make the most of it. Uh, we expressed to them that, you know, it's, it's difficult when you get up, but this is the day to really just savor every moment because when you do go home, I mean, you know, it, the expedition's over. It's going to be over. Friday afternoon, it's all over. It's done. For the amount of time that they have till dark, I think they're going to put in their most mileage. That's my prediction. I hope, knock on wood. <laughs> knock on wood. <laughs> You know, the coolest thing for me was I remember on day four or five I was running and I just I just stopped and I just saw a volcano here a volcano there a laguna here flamingos here it's, it's absolutely amazing environment that I've never experienced and I've only wished to experience my whole life but I don't think anything that any of us had researched or talked about could have ever compared to what we actually saw while we were here it's just breathtaking We as human beings totally underestimate what we're capable of and, and we are uh, able and capable of doing amazing things in our lives if, if we give ourselves a chance. Well, the last 5K, it was absolutely amazing. I was kind of distraught because I realized that this was the end of the expedition and I'm like on such a high, I want to go farther and farther. 
but um, I realized that I had to come to the end sometime. The last day I decided we started it as a team and we were going to finish it as a team. So there are 15 more kilometers to go and I figured, why not? Not only are you running um, 200 plus kilometers, you're also dealing with high winds, mountains, altitude. So it's unbelievable how you're like, this is the worst going through it. But by the end, you're like, this is the most amazing thing I've ever done in my whole life. They came together as a team. All of them started to understand what an expedition is about. They had so much life ahead of them. They're young and they had so much they're going to accomplish in their lives. And by accomplishing this, it's a stepping stone to everything else they're going to do in their lives. And it's just. It blows me away that at such a young age they have that um, ferocity and dedication to stick it through through the toughest of times and do this thing. This is the impossible. <coughs> you made it possible, so impossible to possible. You guys did it. You proved the game. You know? I'm beyond proud. I'm honestly, I'm speechless right now. You guys rock. Yep. I did it. This is, I don't know. We knew this was going to be tough. It was much tougher than we thought. And you guys came through. It was absolutely flying colors. Nobody else in the world could say that they experienced what we did at the time that we did it with the people we did it with. It's We've been through something together and when, when you experience something so big as this or, or just anything that changes your life or kind of changes your perspective with other people, it's a big thing and you have a certain unspoken bond with them. We'll always have that bond. The goal of this organization is to share that we are all capable of the extraordinary. The youth ambassadors once again demonstrated in Expedition Bolivia that that is possible. The impossible is possible.